This is TT Rates, and today TT Rates lead United with and for the Millwall drive home. Driving home from the den where it finished, Millwall 2, Leeds United 1. So I'm obviously not away from home, so I'll react, I'll react, I'll rate the atmosphere from the Leeds fans. I'll rate the team, I'll rate a few of the individual players and the manager. First of all, do you know what? I'll rate the fans because. You know, I, I, I'm honest. You know, Luton fans the week before they got a little bit frustrated because I said their atmosphere was crap, but their atmosphere was crap. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie about it. If it's bad, it's bad. Leeds United, and they're never gonna be bad. You know, the, the amount of fans that they bring, even though they, they seem to all come down on coaches, like 700 coaches parked out the den today, but they sing, they sing well. You know, when they sing the, the marching on together, it's it's a good song, gets them all behind it. You know. And, and they are a proper club, you know, they're a proper club that bring, you know, obviously, down in the championship for a long period of time. And I would say that no one's entitled to, to Premier League football or any league of football, you know. Football is what it is and you play in the league that you're playing, but they are, a, there's no doubt in it, they're a big club and they are all right. Amazingly so, probably more to Mill than it to Leeds, but I know Leeds want to beat us as, as well. But they come down in their in their numbers and sing their boys on and, and you could you know there was no frustration from them even though it weren't really going their way. I was surprised that you know they, they went a little bit more vocal against the ref, but you know overall it was a, a, a really good atmosphere from the den and, and that needs to, you need two you need two teams to create an atmosphere and I, and I felt Leeds uh, Leeds fans done that well today so for that reason I'll give them uh, a four four out of five. We'll move on to, to the manager, Marcelo Bielsa. Someone said to me earlier in the week when, when Neil Harris has stepped down that Bielsa must have gone absolutely mental and sent out his assistant coaches all over the place like he does, you know, the amount of research that they do. Because he's, he's going to have to look at Adam Barrett and try and decide what, what, what we're going to do, what formation we're going to play. He'd have had absolutely no idea. Which we're, With someone that prepares the way he prepares, the someone that knows about football like Marcelo Bielsa does... It would have drove him mental, and um, he would have been—he would have planned his team for what he thought. And and you know, like I said, he sets his teams up to play attacking, attractive football. He demands an awful lot of his players, and that's what I think. I think people overlook how hard Leeds United players work because they talk about the way that they play, but their effort getting back—you know—they get back as a team. They track, and you know, I try and teach that into my own under nine lines. I haven't used Leeds United as an example, but I use Atletico Madrid, you know. If, and, and that's what Marcelo, Marcelo Bielsa and that, that, uh, Simone from, from Argentina, there's no coincidence that they're both Argentinian. But he's he's a he's an excellent manager, you know, someone that you look up to. I don't know he's got you know, got in trouble for the for the spy gate and but he's also passionate. And so a lot of the time you have a tactician manager and someone that demands a lot that, that, that doesn't have much passion, but he has passion. I've got nothing but, I've, honestly, I've got nothing but respect for the way he does things. I think you should learn English if I'm, if I'm being completely honest, because if I was in Spain for that amount of time, I would, um, well, I, I can speak Spanish anyway, but I'd, I'd certainly make the most, I'd certainly try and learn the language. And I don't think he does enough by sending his assistant out to translate everything. But other than that, he's, he's, a, he's a really good manager. Manager-wise, you can't, for the championship, you certainly, five out of five. You can't, you, you can't knock the, 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 uh, the manager. Well, going to the way the team set up and the way they play football, by far one of the best teams we've had at the den this year. In fact, the best team that we have had at the den this year in terms of the way that they play. You know, they did get caught playing out from the back a couple of the times, but that's going to happen. If you, you're determined to play a certain type of football, and again, the way I encourage my, my own Lions to play, my keeper never kicks long. And, and Leeds didn't do that. They reluctantly maybe have done it a couple of times when near the end of the first half when they were under a bit of pressure. But what, what I loved is that, you know, the, the, the movement after the passing was is absolutely superb. And there's so many players that are so comfortable on the ball. And you, you can't help but, but like a team that, that come to play football that, that can rough it a little bit. You know, they'll be disappointed with, with the red card and how it's changed it. But they, their, their heads didn't go down too much. They tried to play football. Um, so, like I said, you, you've got, they've got a couple of decent players with 
I don't really rate Alioski. I, I, know, I know he scored the goal, but I always find he's just he's a, he's annoying. Maybe I don't like him because he plays for an opponent team, but he, he's in games. When he's in games, he's in games. When he's out of games, he's out of games. There's no in between with him. You know, he he, he can either be the start. And I thought today, for too long. He really didn't get involved, and and they need that. What's it called? Let's make no doubt about it. You know, I, I can't. I, I said it on um, on Twitter, and my, my Twitter handle's at Mill TT. If you if you want to follow me, but you can't. No Pablo Hernandez, no Cooper at the back. It's absolutely massive. And like I said, even though we they went down to ten men, even before that, we were playing decent football. We, we were dangerous, and we looked good. And and Leeds, you know that. They struggle when they come down to the den. There's, there's no getting up. There's no getting around it. When, when they, the atmosphere or whatever it is, or maybe the small pitch doesn't allow them to play the football that they, they're used to playing. But all over the park, park I don't like the keeper Casilla. And you know, like I said, Patrick Bamford up front. I, he drives me absolutely. I, I don't know. I really don't know why he's rated so highly. You know, he just he's one of these players that he's he's annoying. I think he's grabbing his balls when he's walking off the pitch when the fans are giving it to him you're like have a bit of class mate and and he, and he just doesn't but that's the only thing negative I'm going to say to be honest because like I said that I, I, the way that they played football the way that they tried to pass the ball around and the way they put pressure they'll be disappointed that they didn't create any chances really virtually no chances at all that they created one shot on target that they scored from regardless they'll be expecting to come to me all to win a game so, so to not be able to do that it will ultimately disappoint them. But I normally say where I think Leeds, uh, well, not Leeds, but where I think a team will finish. For me, unless they do what they've done for, for, for so many years, they're, they, they will go up in the, in the top two. That from, what I, from what I've seen today, from what I, I've seen on TV, as they seem to be on TV every week, you know, Sky Sports Leeds. But I think this year could be their year if they believe it, you know. The fans, obviously, they, they get behind the, the team, but they start to get worried when it gets to March, April, May. Do the players believe it? Because the history sh- shows you that you know they struggle then, and there's no there's no um, there's no coincidence that the song gets sung in and around that time. You know, so I think I personally I think they'll go up as long as they they keep their cool and continue to to listen to the philosophy of Marcelo Bielsa. However, today was Millwall's day, and um, we needed a win. We needed the win today, and, and, and we got it. And I'm as happy as Larry driving day, down the A13. Leeds fans, if you're watching, I know you will be watching because you, you, <clears throat> you're hungry for content on your on your own club. Put your comments. What did you think? I know you're going to say about a red card weren't a red card, and I, 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 it's hard for me not to agree with you. If you don't mind, like, subscribe to the channel. 